Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we have another fur bearer profile in which I'll introduce an animal that can be trapped and talk about their general description, reproduction, diet, and typical ways to trap. Today's video is about Canis lupus, or the gray wolf. Description. The gray wolf is the largest member of the dog family, two to three times the size of a typical coyote. The wolf is differentiated from coyotes and jackals by a browder snout, shorter ears, a shorter torso, and a longer tail. It is slender and powerfully built with a large, deeply descending rib cage, a sloping back, and a heavily muscled neck. The wolf's legs are moderately longer than those of other canids, which enables the animal to move swiftly and overcome the deep snow that covers most of its geographical range in winter. Male wolves weigh about 80 pounds, about 10 pounds heavier than females. Wolves of 100 pounds or more occur rarely and are considered very large. The wolf has very dense and fluffy winter fur with short undercoat and long coarse guard hairs. Most of the undercoat and some guard hairs are shed in the spring and grow back in the autumn in North America. The coat and color of wolves in the Canadian Arctic are white and those in the southern Canada and US and Mexico are mostly gray. In some areas of the Rocky Mountains of Alberta and British Columbia, the coat color is predominantly black with some being blue-gray and others being silver with black. Female wolves tend to have redder tones in North America. Biology the wolf pack is a family group consisting of a pair of breeding adults and their young of one or more years. Only one female in the pack breeds each year, generally in February. After a nine-week gestation, an average of six pups are born in an underground den, which is often used for denning for several years. In early summer, the pups are moved to open areas or rendezvous sites, where the pack congregates. By fall, the pups are large enough to hunt with the pack. Young wolves may leave the pack when they become sexually mature in their second winter. Then they attempt to find a mate and may form a pack in an area not yet used by other packs. Individual packs defend territories of 20 to 200 square miles, usually not more than one wolf per 10 square miles and the members of the pack usually restrict their hunting and feeding activities to that area. Diet The wolf feeds predominantly on wild herbivore hoofed mammals that have a body mass similar to that of the combined mass of the pack members. The wolf specializes on preying on the vulnerable individuals of large prey, with a pack of 15 able to bring down an adult moose. Wolves are not fussy eaters and their diet may include rodents, rabbits, hares, insectivores, and smaller carnivores. They frequently eat waterfowl and their eggs. When such foods are not enough, they prey on lizards, snakes, frogs, and large insects when available. Wolves in northern Minnesota prey on the northern pike and freshwater streams. The diet of coastal wolves in Alaska includes 20% salmon, while those of coastal wolves in British Columbia include 25% marine sources. And those on nearby islands, 75% marine sources. In North America, wolves eat blueberries and raspberries. In times of scarcity, wolves will readily eat carrion. Wolves usually eat livestock and garbage only in dire circumstances. Cannibalism is not uncommon in wolves during harsh winters. When packs often attack weak or injured wolves and may eat the bodies of dead pack members. Trapping Tactics On February 10, 2022, the U.S. court system ruled that wolves are now protected under the Endangered Species Act, ESA. Wolves are classified as threatened in Minnesota and are endangered in the remaining states. Any take, as in harass, harm, pursue, hunt, shoot, wound, kill, trap, capture, collect, or the attempt to engage in such conduct of wolves without a permit or other authorization is prohibited by 
federal law. This does not affect the listing status of wolves in the northern Rocky Mountain population and those remain under state management. Those wolves have been delisted since 2011 in Idaho, Montana and since 2017 in Wyoming and are no longer protected by the ESA. Where legal foothold traps using flat sets and dirt hole sets with bait or lures along travel routes are effective strategies for catching wolves. After freeze up conditions and throughout winter snare sets near bait can be effective. But caution must be used to avoid non-target animals such as white-tailed deer and moose. I would just like to take a moment to let you guys know that we do have a merch shop below the video so if you want to check out any of our apparel or other items be sure to give that a look as all of that revenue goes back into the channel. Also if you like these videos be sure to check out the playlist and hit that like and subscribe button as it does help us out and helps us make more of these videos for you. Now back to the video. Facts. Scientists have disagreed as whether there are 24 wolf subspecies or only 4 in North America. The 4 subspecies of gray wolves in the North America include the Arctic wolf, the Northwestern wolf, the Great Plains wolf, and the Mexican wolf, and the Eastern timber wolf. The Eastern wolf is debated by some as a distinct species. In reality, any differences among these her proposed types are so minor as to be meaningless except for a few specialists. Wolves typically dominate other canid species in areas where they both occur. In North America, incidents of wolves killing coyotes are common, particularly in winter when coyotes feed on wolf kills. Wolves may attack coyote den sites, digging out and killing their pups, though rarely eating them. There's no records of coyotes killing wolves, though coyotes may chase wolves if they outnumber them. Wolves communicate using vocalizations, body postures, scent, touch, and taste. The phases of the moon have no effect on wolf vocalization, and despite popular belief, wolves do not howl at the moon. Wolves howl to assemble the pack, usually before and after hunts, to pass on an alarm, particularly at a den site, to locate others during a storm, while crossing unfamiliar territory, and to communicate across great distances. Wolf howls under certain conditions can be heard up to areas of 50 square miles. Other vocalizations include growls, barks, and whines. In Canada, 50 to 60,000 wolves live in 80% of their historical range, making Canada an important stronghold for the species. The population of wolves in the Midwestern United States have been concentrated in the states of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan, where wolves number over 4,000 as of 2018. Wolves also occupy much of the northern Rocky Mountain regions, with at least 1,000 700 wolves in Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming as of 2015. The wolves have also established populations in Washington and Oregon. In Mexico and parts of the southwestern United States, the Mexican and United States governments collaborated from 1977 to 1980 to capture all Mexican wolves remaining in the wild to prevent their extinction and establish captive breeding programs for reintroduction. Thank you for watching this video of outdoor experiences. Be sure to like and subscribe for more outdoor experience and informational videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to answer. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.